hello students welcome back to engineers academy do subscribe my channel if you are here for the first time now we are going to solve this problem which says that the steel pipe is supported on a circular base plate and concrete pedestal so this is a steel pipe which is supported on a circular base plate and a concrete pedestal here it is said that if the normal failure stress for the steel is 350 megapascal determine the minimum thickness t of the pipe if it suppose the force of 500 kilonewton use a factor of safety against failure of 1.5 so we know that the factor of safety we are given that the factor of safety for the steel is 1.5 and by definition we know that the factor of safety is the failure stress of steel divided by the allowable stress for the steel so we are given the failure stress here so failure stress is 350 megapascal so we can say that this is equal to 350 into 10 raised to the power 6 Pascal or we can say 350 megapascal. Let me write it as 350 megapascal divided by the allowable stress for the steel. So we from this we can say that the allowable stress for the steel is equal to 350 megapascal divided by 1.5. So we can say that 350 divided by 1.5 this gives us 233.33 megapascal so 200 megapascal now now we are asked to find the thickness t of the pipe for this failure stress and a factor of safety of 1.5 now the allowable stress is this 233.33 megapascal so now we know that the allowable stress is the allowable stress for the steel will be equal to the force which is supported right so the load which is which it is carrying is 500 kilonewtons so we can say 500 into 10 raised to the power 3 newton divided by the area which is which it is supporting or on which the stress is applied so we can say that the stress is applied on this area or we can say this area so this area is we can say this area is pi our outer square minus our inner square now our outer square is the outer radius is 100 mm we can say that this is our outer and if i divide this 100 mm by 1000 then this is we can say 100 divided by 1000 so this is 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 meters this is 0 0.1 meter so we can say that this is equal to um 233.33 megapascal or we can say now we will write it in pascals because we want to use all the si units so 233.3 into 10 raised to power 6 pascal is newton per meter square so now we can say that um, if i cross multiply then we can say that uh, pi our outer is now 0 0.1 our inner we do not know this is equal to newton divided by 233.33 into 10 raised to the power 6 newton per meter square newton will cancel out and we will have the units of meter square and we can say that this will be and similarly if i divide both sides of equation by pi So this will cancel out and we will be left with this equation. So now let's find that fraction which is of 500 into 10 raised to the power 3 divided by 
pi multiply by 233.33 into 10 raised to the power 6 this gives me 0 0.1 0 0.1 square minus ri square is equal to 0 0.000682 meter square and we want to find our i square since we want to find the t so we can say that um, our i square is equal to 0 0.1 square minus 0 0.000682 and if we take the square root we will be able to find our i so our i the inner radius is 0 0.1 square minus 0 0.000682 so this gives me our i 0 0.0969 meter meters and if you want to convert this into mm so we have to multiply it with now we know that 1 meter is equal to 1000 mm so we will multiply this answer with 1000 so this is we can say 96.53 let's say and this will be in mm meters will cancel out now since we we were asked to find the thickness t this is the thickness t of the pipe so the thickness t of the pipe will be the outer radius minus the inner radius so we can say that the thickness t the outer radius minus the inner radius so the outer radius is 100 mm minus the inner radius is 96.53 that we have just determined so we can say that 100 minus 96.53 gives me thickness equals to 3.47 mm so for a factor of safety of um, 1.5 and the failure stress of 350 megapascal the thickness of the pipe should be 3.47 mm now the next part of the problem says that also find the minimum radius of the base plate so the minimum radius of the base plate so that the minimum factor of safety against the failure of the concrete due to the bearing is 2.5 so now the constraint is due to the concrete so we are given the factor of safety of 2.5 and the failure stress of the con concrete as 25 megapascal and we are asked to find the radius r of the base plate so again using the same concept we can say that um, the factor of safety for the concrete is 2.5 this is equal to the failure stress of the concrete which is 25 megapascal it is given here 25 megapascal so 25 divided by the allowable stress for the concrete so we can say that the allowable stress for the concrete is 25 megapascal divided by 2.5 so 25 this gives me 10 so 10 megapascal and similarly we know that this allowable stress will be equal to the force which the base plate is carrying or we can say that which the base plate is applying on the concrete this 500 kilonewton force is transferred to the plate and ultimately that 500 kilonewton force is again uh, transferred to the concrete uh, pedestal as well so we can say that the same 500 kilonewton force is supported so we can say that this allowable stress is equal to the force 500 kilonewton divided by the area of the base plate so we can say this is 500 into 10 raised to the power 3 and let me write it here right so this will be we can say that the allowable stress of the concrete is equal to 500 into 10 raised to the power 3 newton divided by the area of the base plate now the area of the base plate is since it's a circular we can say it is pi r square so we can say pi r square this is equal to 10 megapascal so 10 into 10 raised to the power 6 
newton per meter square newton will cancel out so we will be left with the units of meter square so one divided by meter square so now we can say that r square is equal to 500 into 10 raised to power 3 divided by pi into 10 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 6 or we can say this will become 10 raised to the power 7 so let me write it is uh, 10 raised to the power 7 and this is equal to r square and if we take the square root then we will be able to find the, the radius of the base plate which is required so this is 500 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 3 divided by pi multiplied by 10 raised to the power 7 so this gives me the radius of the base plate 0 0.126 one six and this is in meters converted into mm so one meter is equal to thousand mm multiply our answer with thousand so this is equal to one hundred and twenty six point one six mm so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from mechanics of materials by rc hibler